In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a system of equations with elimination. Um, and I'll do an example where neither of the variables, neither the x nor y variable, has the same coefficient in both equations. So we'll see how to make that happen if it's not already the case. Okay, so this question asks us to solve the system by elimination. And we've got 3x plus 2y equals 2, and 4x plus 5y equals 12. So the first thing to do, like always, is to just give these guys names. And you can call them numbers or letters or people names if that amuses me. It amuses me. Um, but I guess numbers is maybe the, the simplest. So in the first video on elimination, I said the easiest case is when you've got one of the variables, like either x or y, that has the same coefficient in both equations. And that coefficient can be positive or negative. But here we've got 3x and 4x, and 2x and 5x. So we don't have that in this case. So I'm going to show you how to solve the system by elimination when we don't have that. And actually, I'm going to do this question two different ways. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go through it one way, and then you can pause the... I'll tell you what the other way is. You can pause the video and try it. And then if you get it, you can just skip forward to the end, double-check that you did it right. And if you had trouble with it, then you go through and watch it. And take good notes. Okay. So this, I guess, uh, method one here... Um, the different methods are just, just which variable you eliminate. Um, so here, like we can either eliminate x or y, and in this case, neither one of them is really easy, or either easier than the other. So first I'll show you how to eliminate, I guess, x first. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these two equations, we're going to try to get the coefficients on x equal in both cases. And the way we'll do that is we'll multiply the equations by different numbers. Um, and we could do it equally well with the y's. We could try to get the coefficient y uh, on y equal by multiplying the equation by different numbers. And that's what we'll do for method 2. The one time that there is one that's easier than the other, if one is a multiple of the other, for example, if we had 3x and 6x, then it would be easier to, to eliminate that variable. Okay, so we want to eliminate x. Um, so the f we have to figure out what could we multiply these two equations by, and it'll be different numbers for each, to get the coefficient on x to be the same. So the easiest way to do that is to think, well, what's the lowest common multiple of... I'll put these in colors just so we can see where they came from. Of the two coefficients on x. So the first is 3, and then this comma. The second coefficient is the 4 from equation 2. So the lowest common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12. So that's what we're going to try to get both of the coefficients to be. We'll try to get them to be 12. Maybe I'll write that down. So we'll try to get both x coefficients to be 12. Okay, so what could we multiply 3x by to get 12x? Well, we could multiply it by 4. So we'll start, and but we can't just multiply the x term, we have to multiply the whole equation. So the first thing we'll do is multiply, and as you write this, um, as you write your solutions, in this notes you should write everything, but you don't need to write this line, so we'll try to get both x coefficients to be 12, but you should write down what the lowest common multiple is, and then you have to write this down, uh, multiply, so we're going to multiply equation 1 by, and what would we multiply to get 12x? By 4. So you have to write that down, so we know what, like where these numbers come from. So we have 4 times, and then I'm going to put the whole equation in brackets, 3x plus 2y equals 2. All of that. So we get 12x plus 8y plus equals 8. And if you prefer, instead of writing the whole equation in brackets, you can write the 4 on both sides. So you do the left side times 4 and the right side times 4. Just whichever makes more sense to you. Okay, so this, we've got our 12x here. This is going to be an equation we'll use. But because it's basically equation 1, we didn't really get anything new. We just multiplied both sides by 4. 
I'm going to call that one prime. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing to equation two. So we'll multiply equation two by, now what can we multiply it by so that we get 12x? Well, we've got 4x now, so we'll multiply by 3. Now, it happens to be that here we had 3x and we multiplied by 4, and we had 4x and we multiplied by 3. That will not always be the case. It's only the case if these don't have any common factors other than 1, but it's not always the case. So you say we're trying to get 12, so what should you multiply by? That's how you decide. So we have 3 times, and that's equation 2 here, 4x plus 5y equals 12. So if we multiply both sides by 3, we get 12x there, that was what we wanted, plus 15y equals 36. And that is equation 2 prime. Okay, so we've got the 12x here, and we've got 12x there, so this is perfect. Um, so in the last video, we added the, equa uh, the equations, but if we added these two equations, we'd end up with 24x plus mm, 23y equals 44. So that wouldn't be any better than what we have now, because we're trying to eliminate a variable. But if we subtract one from the other, then we'll have 12x minus 12x equals 0x. So that's what we want. So if we subtract... So basically, if the variable that you're trying to eliminate, if they have the same sign in both, then you subtract. If they have different signs, you add. Now, either one will work. But if I look ahead a little bit, I see that if I do 1 prime minus 2 prime, I'll have the 0x, and then I'll have a negative number of y's and a negative number for the constant term. But if I do it the other way, both will be positive. So just to save me, I don't know, it might not even take an extra time, the time of writing an extra negative sign. I'm going to do 2 prime minus 1 prime. You'll get the same answer both ways. So it's not a question of 1 being wrong. It's just a question of 1 maybe being easier. So 2 prime is 12x plus 15y equals 36. And you've got to write this down um, again, even though it's up here, because if we're reading lines from all these different places all around the page, you're very likely to make a mistake. We're subtracting 12x, copying from up here, plus 8y equals 8. Okay, now as we subtract this, we'll put a big negative sign. Make sure you put the whole thing in brackets, because it's going to be important to remember to subtract each one of these. Um, for example, this 8 is really far away. It's really easy to forget that you're subtracting that and to add by accident. So 12x minus 12x is 0x. 15y minus 8y is 7y. And then 36 minus 8 is 28. I'm just getting down near the end of my page. I'll think I'll, I'll keep going. So we can divide both sides by 7. And what that gives us, normally I write this underneath, but that gives us y equals 4. And that's great. We've got that. We'll put it in a box. Let's call this equation 3. Okay. So now that's all the hard work. And now we just can substitute y equals 4 into one of the equations and solve for x. So let's go up here. Substitute number 3 into, um, and these really look, there isn't one that looks harder or easier than the other, so maybe I'll do it into 2 for variety. So we have, equation 2 was purple, we had 4x plus 5y equals 12, and then I'm going to substitute y equals 4. So that gives us 4x plus 20 equals 12. 
and then I'll subtract 20 from both sides. So we have 4x equals negative 8. Then divide both sides by 4. We get x equals negative 2. Here we go. So we've got the solution. I'll write a concluding statement here. So the solution is xy equals the x value is negative 2 and the y value is 4. Okay, now normally you would check this with the left side, right side, but because the video is going to be kind of long with the two examples, uh, I'll get you to do that on your own. If you're having any trouble with it, just come ask me. Um, and now I'm going to get you to, depending on how you feel about this, if you feel pretty good, I'm going to get you to pause the video um, and see if you can do the same question, solve the same system by eliminating y instead of x. So here we tried to get the coefficient on y x to be the same, and you'll try to get the coefficient on y to be the same. Um, and then I'm going to pause the video, change the page, and then start start again, and I'll do it. So if you're really not sure at all, then you might want to just watch it. But if you think you can give it a try, um, it's worth it. Um, and then if you make a mistake, then you'll just learn more from it than if you hadn't tried, because you'll say, oh yeah, that's a mistake I'm likely to make. Okay, so pause the video now and then give it a try.